Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry. From the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends, another episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna, and today I am here with Miss Emma Svensson. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. And just so you all know, it is really late in the evening. It's almost tomorrow in, in <laughs> Stockholm, where she is currently at. So, yeah, it's close to midnight, but I, I'm fine. I hope my boyfriend that's sleeping is fine too. But yeah, we're all good. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll try to be a little quiet. I'll try not to make you laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we'd love to start off with a very difficult question all right <laughs> okay tell us who is emma svensson okay that's a tricky one um well um i'm a farm girl from uh, the north of sweden uh, so i grew up with a lot of horses and uh had like all my days with them and uh, when I was eight I started playing guitar and I uh, started singing and uh, started writing music um, and I'm a very social happy girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> mostly <laughs> oh but, well that's yeah. beautiful <laughs> it's always hard to say something about yourself you know, it is. It is. It's that that whole like, oh, you want me to talk about myself? I, um, I'm okay. Um, here's what I'm doing. Yeah, you know? like that's kind of what we all go to. And <laughs> no, I think yeah. that's awesome. And like so many other people that have grown right. up, even in America, in farms, you know, grab a guitar and they yeah. start playing at a young age. So it's so cool to see your journey, you know, yeah. from a kid till now, and and the amazing songs you put out. So I'm so glad you're here. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy to. So, who are some of the women musically that inspire you? Um, from the beginning, it was uh, like uh, Emily Harris and Dolly Parton and uh, the older ones. Uh, and right now, I'm listening a lot to uh, Brenda Carlyle and uh, Meryl Morris. And uh, yeah, there's so many good women in country. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Marin Morris is one of the, the hottest country artists, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. I think she just has the whole package. Great vocals and, and music composition and, and writing, you know, just just a great combination. Yeah, she's so cool. <laughs> oh, now my dogs oh. wanna come and join us here. <laughs> That's okay. Dogs are welcome. Hi. Aww. <laughs> and what is that sweet puppy's name? It's Molly. Oh, hi Molly. She's so sweet. <laughs> My dogs are not joining yeah. here. Yeah, they're, I don't know where they are. They're not here. So, yeah, maybe it's like, Tigger who the are cat you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nice. You're welcome to join anytime, Molly. I promise you. Yeah, we won't bite. At least I won't. I can't promise the other dogs, you know. <laughs> yeah, not me either, so. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. let's talk about your most recent release, Runs in the Family. Uh, what was the inspiration behind that? Yeah, so I grew up uh, with a very supportive uh, family, and uh, they have like uh, since I was starting playing music, they have been driving me around everywhere in Sweden so I could play my shows, even though I was too young to drive and everything. And uh, they have always been like very, very supportive. So I felt like I wanted to give them a song, and I haven't really wrote one for them earlier. So. I was like, this is time to do it. And uh, I wanted like a very uh, happy song out there. So this song is only a lot of love. So yeah, it was so fun to release it. Oh, it is a very happy song. I found myself yeah. singing along right away. I was like, oh, this is great. I love this song. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was great. Oh, so now let's talk about some of your other writing. Now, most of your writing, I see that, and this is from another writing perspective of me, that most yeah. of the songs you write are all songs that you've lived. Yeah, it is. I think it's hard to write something that I haven't like experienced. So if I want to like 
play them live and uh, tell something from my heart. I need to have it from my own experience. Um, so that's how, how I've done it. And sometimes I try to like write a song like from somewhere else or from someone else that I know or something, but uh, I never finished those songs. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that's my thing. <laughs> and I think, you know, when you're trying to do songs like that, I think uh, co-writing is a, a best thing to try to do is find someone that can co-write with you. And yeah. Uh, yeah, because sometimes you're like, yes, it's a great experience. I want to tell this story, but I don't have all like the parts to tell it, you know? Yeah, I love co-writing. Yeah, that's the best way. Yeah. Ooh. So... I saw a lot of upcoming dates, um, obviously, for Sweden, Norway, things like that in the summer. Yeah. Are you going to be doing any touring in the U.S. or coming back over to Nashville or anything? Uh, we haven't scheduled anything yet, but I miss Nashville so much. So hopefully we will go after the summer. Yes, uh, I think Nashville is the best town in the world. and I love the U.S. Uh, I want to go around more also. So hopefully after the summer, after all the gigs um but um yeah i'm an independent artist so it's uh all hanging on the the money <laughs> if i could uh, get enough on my gigs this summer <laughs> absolutely absolutely i mean yeah. that's definitely understandable a lot of the uh <laughs> people on our show are the same way you know they do their own yeah everything gig planning everything you know their marketing releases everything so yeah yeah uh, it's a lot to do, but it's also nice to have the control of everything. That That is a benefit, is it not? I think that is a great benefit. Yeah. <laughs> so would you like to get into our 13 crazy questions? Yes. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> okay. So if I ask you, do you have any guilty pleasure music on your playlist? Would you respond with anything? Or... Just all music is good. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Almost. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't really know how what to answer. <laughs> well, is there anything on there that you would be like embarrassed to share with everyone? Ah, uh, not embarrassed, but I have a lot of different music, and some is very very calm, and some is very sad, and some is very happy. Um, but no, I w wouldn't be embarrassed, but uh, there's okay, a lot so, of different styles. <laughs> yeah. So that there's no official guilty pleasure music on there, it's just all good music then? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you to finish this next statement. Today, my favorite song is... Uh, Millionaire, Chris Stapleton. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's have been the song for this day <laughs> but i change every day <laughs> yeah it could yeah tomorrow could be something totally different right something sad maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could be anything <laughs> that is nice oh, tell me the best concert you've ever attended um the best country um u.s and nashville <laughs> Oh, I, I said concert. Sorry, I said concert. My apologies. Like oh, concert. show. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, okay. Well, I'm still going back to Nashville because <laughs> uh, the best <laughs> concert I've ever been to was uh, Pam when she played at uh, the Ryman. It was so nice, and I went there alone, uh, which is sometimes it's a bit weird, but I I really liked it that time because I was so focused on what she did and the music and. I, I sat there and I laughed and I cried and uh, it was just yeah. so much uh, feelings and uh, yeah, it was a great concert. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. something like going to the Ryman or the, the Opry or any of those classic places, especially for yeah. country music. It's, it's just a whole different experience when you go to a concert. Like I feel, yeah. Yeah, it's, and you can't like describe it if you haven't been there because it's, it's mm -hmm. so crazy my whole soul was like floating around there <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah can you give us some music recommendations that we need to listen to before we die Ooh. um oh that's a hard one um 
then you, I should say someone that you maybe don't know. Um, uh, oh my god, Lainey Wilson. If someone haven't heard her yet, <laughs> she, but she's big, but she is so cool. And uh, in Sweden, there's a lot of people who don't know her. So I would say that. Okay, so hey, Sweden, you need to catch up and go check out Lainey Wilson. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's it's amazing to see the artists evolve in different countries, and you know, just in general. I mean, there have been UK yeah. country artists that were coming over, or vice versa, or or anywhere else, and it's just that that changeover and the difference. And it's just so cool to see that, like, discover new music, even though they may have been out. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. I love that part about traveling also. Yeah. Tell me something on your bucket list. Um, I want to swim with dolphins. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I will be so a uh, good friend with them. But uh, I don't know if they even can be a real friend with human. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would do that. there was that series Flipper. I know it was like probably before both of us were born. Flipper. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It was about a dolphin that uh, helped people. So, oh, I think it that's could. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I want a dolphin, like a wild one, but that loves me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that might be a little difficult again. We're going to the wild animals. I don't know. Kind of like a straight to have a tiger, but it might need you. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, a, yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> oh. So if we made a movie about your life, who would you want to play you? What actress would you want to, your dream actress to play you? Oh, um, wow. I'm not really good in actors names because I'm so bad at names. Um, what is the the blonde girl from the holiday movie? What is her name? Do you know that? Ah, uh, I've oh, always I can't forgot think. her name. But yeah, I want her to do it. <laughs> okay, we'll sign her up. Okay, we have to oh. look that up later. We'll but look yeah, it up, yeah. I want her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Tell me, do you have a game plan for zombie apocalypse? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I think they're good. About it. <laughs> because apparently they don't like snow. Someone from Canada okay, said, I'm nice. just going to hang in the mountains because they don't like snow. We've never seen a movie with zombies in snow, so it's all good. Yeah, that's true. Well, then I will just go home to my parents <laughs> and where I grew up and stay there with their horses. And it's all good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> See, get good game plan. Just go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got my first plan. So, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us something that you would never do. You know, like jump out of a I perfectly good airplane. Okay. Yeah, something like I'm I'm very scared of uh, heights. So, uh, never like skydive or anything like that. Ooh, scary. So, okay, so nothing, I'm with not, <laughs> nothing with heights. Nothing with heights and uh, jumping out of airplanes or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Promise not to sign you up for anything like that. I swear. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Then we're fine. <laughs> All good. <laughs> no. So hypothetically, if I called you up and said, Hey, I need to hide a dead body. Do you know a good place? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I never had that question before. <laughs> I, it's a crazy question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, in America, we watch too much of it, like the investigation discovery channel about like murders and people getting killed and weird stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I know some people that have a good plan. So if you ever have a dead body you need to hide, just, just call me. I can call someone else and we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay. Especially oh, if well, you're in the good, US. Good. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me something you're afraid of. 
spiders. I was so afraid when I was in Nashville because there was a like a huge spider outside my front door. So I ran every time I went back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> and we we only have like we don't have dangerous spiders in Sweden, but I'm still so afraid of them, which is crazy. <laughs> I think that's a normal fear. I'm scared of them too. Yeah. Yeah. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Would you go to karaoke with me? Of course. Let's do it. <laughs> I think okay, that would be a lot need... of fun. Okay, but I might need some few drinks because everyone else might need some few drinks. That way I sound better. Yeah, well, <laughs> all good. We we <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All fun, I get it. Thank you. Yeah, what's your favorite drink? Uh, you know, I I try lots of drinks. Um, I'm willing to try almost anything. I like tequila, uh, like a oh, margarita. Nice. So margarita. It's something simple. Yep. Let's go or for the I... margarita. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Those are uh, like pina coladas, something fruity and you know, like a slushy type thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> oh. If you could be any person or like Dolly Parton or someone or a position like a surgeon or a president, who or what type of person would you want to be for the day and why? Uh, I would be Putin and stop every crazy war that he does. I, I, w- I want to like change everything that he he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is beautiful. I wish I could make that happen. I would like to make that happen right now. Yeah, me too. (laughs) I wish I wake up and are him tomorrow so I can stop everything and then go back to me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, if I see everything stopping, all of a sudden I'm going to know what happened. There's some kind of weird magic going on. That's me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Tell me, do you have any words of wisdom you live by? Um... Yeah, try to like see the world beautiful because it's it's more beautiful if you like try to see all the beautiful parts and because the, there's a lot of ugly parts too. But if you try to like focus on the beautiful ones, it's uh, a lot of better to live on this earth. Absolutely, I love that. I love that yeah. a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, look toward the positivity, the beautifulness, and yeah. That's all we can do. Yeah. I mean, there's always bad everywhere, but yeah. It is. Yeah. That's what we have to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I remember when I was young growing up, my mom had said to me one time, I don't remember where we were, supermarket something. There was someone that was like so like mean, grumpy. And I'm like, mom, why are they so mean and grumpy? She goes, I don't know. Maybe some, they're having a bad day. So I went over and I said, hi, how are you today? And they smiled and they were nice all of a sudden. I'm like, I was a kid. I had no clue what I was really doing, you know, but yeah their day, you know like, like that that has stuck with me that little moment of okay i brighten someone's day and yeah that's so cute <laughs> yeah imagine everyone do that every time they see someone that seems uh, mad or sad or anything bad <laughs> absolutely it, it may just yeah. work i mean sometimes i'm not saying yeah. everything would be peachy keen but you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think they will be like a bit shocked and they get uh, like a smile after it. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. So you have a lot of gigs coming up. Is there any like what else do you have going on for the rest of this year? Doing some more writing? Uh, any new releases? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, right now. I am doing a duet with another guy. Um, he just started a career as a country artist, but he's been playing a lot. Uh, when he was younger and he he's so so good so i'm so excited for that and uh we're also gonna go over for a show in uk in april um and uh, then i think it will be i might release one more before the summer and then we will just focus on the summer um because there we hopefully we will have a lot of gigs in the summer um and we also go into norway to some festivals and uh, that would be great um and we are building a uh, van so me and my boyfriend are gonna live in that and traveling around in uh, sweden and norway and 
yeah so i'm so excited for that but we have to like build it before so that's what we're gonna do now so we can play <laughs> oh my goodness that sounds like a lot of fun I, I, yeah make sure make sure you, if you if you don't share everything on social media make sure you send me some private pictures because i would love to see that i love the yeah. idea of going you know in the van we have an rv a little bit bigger than a much bigger than a van and we travel yeah. in that in the summer uh, and the west of oh, the nice. u.s and everywhere and yeah i love it i mean I love yes, being able to work remotely amazing. and do that. Yeah. Yeah. I have never like had a, a van or a house car or anything. So I'm so excited to like just drive out in the forest and live there or anything. I'm, uh, I'm not really an apartment girl, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I live in an apartment now. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited for the van life this summer. Well, I'm so excited. I hope you make sure you keep me in contact and uh, yeah, send me some great photos and things like that. And yeah, like, for sure. You know, like when you're camping and whatever, and, and you're at that spot, you're like, look, we made this for dinner or whatever. I love that. So, <laughs> Yeah, definitely. You have to send me to it. <laughs> Absolutely. I promise. We will do that. I'll make sure cool. we have all our socials, everything connected and good stuff like Perfect. that. WhatsApp or whatever, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It has been a pleasure talking to you, Emma, and you are welcome back anytime. Yeah, thank you so much. It was so nice. Oh, thank you. And thank you, friends, for joining us for another episode. I will have the links for Emma's website and everything in the description, as usual. Make sure you go check it out and follow all of her socials. And uh, have a great day. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed today's episode of Crazy Women Country, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly. And thank you, friends, for joining us today on Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter.